Hello all you magical people. I'm Lizzie and I love all things Disney. This is the second video in my DCP series that I'm filming. I decided that I wanted to go ahead and film my DCP bucket list video because I want to have it set in stone before I go to Disney so I know what I want to do and hopefully be able to complete all on my bucket list. I will put it up in my dorm at Flamingo's Crossing. If I ha have it up there then that'll be my incentive to try to complete them all. But yes, this is my DCP bucket list. This is like a rough draft of my DCP bucket list. I want to make it cuter. I apologize if y'all could hear background noise in my video. I decided to film in my car because I've never filmed a video in my car before and so I wanted to try something new for you all. And I was not gonna leave my car on and waste all the gas because gas is expensive these days, y'all. So I decided to turn my car off and I'm just sitting in here making the video and I have my window down so you could probably hear hear every single bird chirp and dog bark so I apologize ahead of time. All right so on to my DCP bucket list. I have 30 things that I want to accomplish on my bucket list. First thing on my list is what most people have on their DCP bucket list is the four parks in one day. I know that will probably be very hard to achieve because I know with COVID I think all the bus routes have been changed or I don't, I don't even know if it's possible now that COVID has happened and ruined everything. But I want to try to go to at least all the parks in one day. I mean, I've... Oh my gosh, there's a spider. I'm gonna roll up my window real quick. Okay, y'all, I'm still alive. I went ahead and rolled up my window and now I think the spider is gone, so we're all good. But I kid you not, I've seen that spider on my car so many times and I'm like, what is it with my car that he likes? So yes, the four parks in one day that got interrupted. I've gone to parks in one day before, which has been a lot of fun, but I've never been to all four. But the second thing on my list is to rope drop the four parks. I would need to get a good night's rest, that's for sure, because waking up early, but I would do it for Disney. I like see all the little shows that they do and I want to experience that because I think I've only rope dropped Magic Kingdom. The third thing on my list is a solo day at the parks. I did this back in 2017 and it was the best thing I'd ever done because I got to do whatever I wanted in the park and not have to worry about what anybody else wanted to do. I actually got to take pictures with as many characters as I wanted and I just had a blast that day. Fourth thing on my list is to try to ride each attraction. There are several attractions I haven't had the chance to ride yet because Disney keeps expanding and making new attractions each year and there's some rides that every time my family goes we've gone like six times in my life I think. Every time we've gone we've mostly been focusing on Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, all the popular rides and then there's some rides that we just don't care to go to as much. The teacups I I really want to ride those because I never have ridden them before. Um, and then the newer rides like Ratatouille and Flight of Passage, I have never ridden that ride before. And I've heard so many good things about it and I just cannot wait to finally ride that ride. The fifth thing on my list is to meet rare characters. I know there are several characters I haven't met. Like for example, I've never met Peter Pan, which I mean, I know a lot of people have met him before, but I have not ever seen him out. And it's made me very sad because I love Peter Pan and I've never met any of the princes either, except Naveen. I will say I did meet Naveen one time and he was the best. But yeah, I want to meet characters like Gideon and Honest John from Pinocchio. I just want to meet characters like that. And I've never met Gaston, so you know, there's a lot of cool and rare characters that you can meet at Disney. Sixth thing on my list is to pin trade. I have maybe four pins, like I really lack on my pin trade. And I've seen so many people have these lanyards full of all these pins and I'm so sad because I just have four of them and they're a Daisy, a Mickey and Pluto, and like two Christmas ones. I'm like, that's it. I want to have a full-on collection and pin trade with other little kids and that would just be so much fun. The seventh thing on my list is to see the shows. I've seen Fantasia. Didn't get the opportunity to see Happily Ever After. It's all wishes because I went back in 2017 and that's when they had wishes. I'm excited to see Enchantment. I've, I've heard it's not as good as Happily Ever After, which I'm very sad about. And there's also a new Kai Tales show that they have at Animal Kingdom and I'm so stoked about it because I think they have a Jungle Book show and a Lion King show and I've heard the Lion King one is just out of this world. This huge kite of Simba as a grown lion and it's just 
magnificent. The eighth thing on my list is to do scavenger hunts. I know there are some, I believe, in Epcot. I don't know if there are in the other parks. I know, for example, I think there's a ratatouille scavenger hunt that you could do, like find the different ingredients. He has like onions and garlic and you have to find them and collect it all. But yeah, I'm not super keen on all the different scavenger hunts, but I know I want to do a lot of them, so. The ninth thing on my list is to eat at Be Our Guest. I have always wanted to eat at this place because it was already there in 2017, but my theater group, we went in 2017. This is when I was a senior in high, high school. But we didn't get the opportunity to eat there because I don't think we made reservations in time. I would always pass by it and be like, oh, I was so sad and I was like, I don't even know when I'll be back at Disney and I don't know if I'll ever get to eat there. But now that I get to do my DCP, I will get to eat there and I'm just so excited and I'll get to try the gray stuff because, you know, it is delicious. The tenth thing on my list is to go to all the resorts. The only resorts I've been to are Pop Century, All Star Music, All Star Movies. I I think all-star sports and the grand floridian but i do not remember anything about the grand floridian because i was a, literally a baby well, i do want to go there because i don't remember it in polynesian and the art of animation resort oh i've heard so many good things about there animal kingdom lodge they have live animals there they just roam around and you just can look out your window and see a giraffe it would just be a great time the 11th thing on my list is to visit cast connections if you're a disney cast member you can go there and you get like discounted things i know one of my best friends melody shout out to melody she did the dcp back in 2019 and she actually she didn't get me these ears but they're my pink millennial, millennial pink ears at the cast connections i just want to get as much disney merch as i can 12th thing on my list is to ride the skyliner and i've just seen like dcp videos where they go on the skyliner and be so cool because it would be like you're flying so i'm so excited to finally ride the skyliner 13th thing on my list is to go to pandora like i was mentioning earlier i still haven't ridden the flight of passage and to see all the magic within pandora 14th thing on my list is to ride splash mountain for the last time splash mountain is my favorite ride i love princess and the frog with all my heart do not get me wrong but Splash Mountain has my heart and I don't like change I know that's a bad thing that's something I need to work on and so I at least I really hope it's open by my DCP I don't know when it's gonna be under construction but I just want to at least ride it one last time just soak it all in the 15th thing on my list is to take a photo at each country I think that would be really cool cuz for one thing, I love taking pictures. And the thought that I would like take pictures at each country, I can be like, I've taken a selfie all around the world. Like something cheesy like that, I don't know. And my favorite country is Italy. The 16th thing on my list is to have a staycation. I either want to have like a staycation at the Art of Animation Resort or Animal Kingdom Lodge. I wouldn't do this alone because that would be kind of weird just to chill in a, a hotel room by myself but to do it with like other dcp friends that i make enjoy all the things that the resort has to offer the 17th thing on my list is to eat dole whip at the polynesian i know that is a tradition that some of the previous dcp people have done is go to the polynesian and have dole whip and then see the fireworks show from magic kingdom i mean i've had dole whip before here i mean it's decent but to have disney dole whip like that would be elite dole whip in my brain 18th thing on my list is to get pixie dusted just feel so magical and i would go through the parks and be like oh yes i did get pixie dusted so 19th thing on my list is to draw at rafiki's planet watch i have always loved like drawing disney characters and i have several books where if you look at like it tells you how to draw a disney character step by step and i feel like i would love doing something like that because i think there's an instructor that tells you how to draw a certain character and you get different characters every time for it's a lot of fun to do and i definitely feel like i would enjoy that because I, I love to draw 20th thing on my list is to take photos at the different walls there are several different walls in disney world i know there's the bubblegum wall the purple wall and i know emily enchanted she's one of my favorite vloggers she has her own little wall Number 21 on my list is backstage tour. I remember whenever one of my best friends, Melody, she did the DCP. She told me about all the different things like behind the scenes that she got to experience. And I really love learning about behind the scenes things. Like whenever I watch a movie, I like 
watching behind the scenes. I, I look forward to going on those backstage tours. Number 22 on my list is to experience Dapper Day. I don't know if they're gonna be doing a Dapper Day in spring. I think, I, I looked it up and I think there is one in April and I'm staying until June 30th. I think there's one in the fall and the spring and I've always wanted to do a Dapper Day because you get to dress up and one of my favorite things to do is to dress up. And I would want a Disney bound as a character. So have like a long skirt of a certain color and then the top. I'm still deciding on on which character I would want to do because I have several different favorite characters like Sadness, Baymax, Snow White, Cinderella, Piglet, like all those different characters. So I would have to think really hard about what character I would want to dress up as for Dapper Day. Number 23 on my list is to go to Universal. I have been to Universal before and it's, I think I've been twice before and I love Universal so much. It's not Disney of course, like I'm loyal to Disney. Universal has so many like thrill rides and I love roller coasters and I plan on I think getting a Universal pass so yeah, I would get to experience it more and my family were going on a trip to Disney World in October actually and I would get to use my season pass then as well. 24th thing on my list is to visit Galaxy's Edge. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I mean I love Star Wars. I've seen it but several of my friends they are Star Wars fans. They've kind of rubbed off of me. I know some things about Star Wars but I think it'd be really cool to visit there. Seeing Kylo Ren and Rey and BB-8. I love BB-8 and I love R2-D2. I don't think C-3PO is this. C-3PO is my favorite character. 25th thing on my list is to go to festivals at Epcot. No, there's like the food and wine and then there's the flower and garden, but I don't think the food and wine is until like after my program, which I'm so sad I won't get to experience it. But I will get to experience the flower and garden, which I'm really excited about. And I wanna purchase like a cute sundress or something and see all the flowers and try all the different drinks and food at the different countries, so I'm looking forward to that. The 26th thing on my list is to go putt-putt mini-golfing. And my family, we always, every time we go to Branson, we always go putt-putt mini-golfing and we make such good memories there. I feel like it would be so cool to go at Disney, go with a couple friends, and I know there's like different themed ones, like I think there's a Fantasia one, and one where it's like Christmas and then the summer or whatever. But I think it would be a lot of fun to just get away from all the crazy busyness of life and just to go and play some putt-putt because I definitely don't like golfing, but I like mini golfing. And the 27th thing on my list is to go to Toy Story Land. This was also under construction whenever I went back in 2017. A lot of stuff was under construction. Really excited to see it and ride Slinky Dog Dash and Toy Story Mania. I've always been awful at those kind of games. Anything with shooting games, I'm always terrible. I always lose. So it's just for the experience. So I'm excited for that. And going to Andy's Toy Box and eating the tart. The 28th thing on my list is the Ratatouille ride. Like I was mentioning earlier to try to ride each attraction. This is one of the new attractions that recently opened up and I love Ratatouille. It also holds a special place in my heart. Hopefully I will get to meet Remy and a meal. And then the 29th thing on my list is to shop and eat at Disney Springs. I have been here as well. Remember we went back in 2017. I always mentioned 2017, I apologize. A theater group, we performed at Disney Springs. We did like a theater dance type thing. We went at the World of Disney store and that's my favorite store there. So I'm looking forward to going there, but also going to different stores. We actually saw the live action Beauty and the Beast movie at the theater in Disney Springs, which was really cool. Number 30 on my list is to collect Mickey ears. I have six pairs of ears, but I want to expand that a lot. I've seen these Baymax ears that I really want to get, and I've always wanted Cinderella ears. Right now I'm wearing my Elsa ears, which, you know, there's her cape in the back. Yes, I want to collect all my favorite characters. I don't know if they're Makeup Piglet ears or not. I, I will look at different websites and try to order as much as I can before, and then hopefully on my DCP I'll get to collect more at like maybe Cast Connections, which you would get a discount on ears. Yeah, so that's all I have for today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. There will definitely be more DCP videos to come. I hope you all have a magical day. Goodbye!